This is my flat iron steak with air fried sweet potatoes. The flat iron steak is a delicious and budget friendly cut of beef that comes from the chuck or the shoulder of the cow and it's known for its tenderness, rich beefy flavor and affordability compared to other priciest cuts. It comes from the top blade which is the large muscle in the chuck. Now we're going to season this up with just some coarse salt and some pepper. You can use any seasoning you like, any rub on your beef, whatever floats your boat, that's what you should do. Now we're going to go ahead and make the marinade which is some olive oil. We use some Anjou pear vinegar that I absolutely love, some rice vinegar and then we'll finish it off with some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce and we're going to go and put that in the bag and marinate our meat. I'm going 24 hours but you can do it as quick as six if you really want to get that flavor infused, you don't want to go any less. You're going to seal that bag up and now we're going to get ready for our sous vide after the marinade. 125 degrees we're going to want for about an hour and a half to two hours. You can go a little bit longer if you want. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to make that meat even more tender. I use my sous vide station here from Typher. We go ahead and set everything up and once that goes inside, it's time for the sweet potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and peel those up. We're going to slice them up, make some nice thick cut or some thick shoestring potatoes. Not very shoestringy, but I do love them to look like that nonetheless. We're going to go and take our shoestrings, put some olive oil on that, and add just some simple salt, pepper, garlic seasoning. And I also add a little Naughty Wood Barbecue Rub, which gives it a little sweet hit. I just love that on my sweet potatoes. 400 degrees. We're going to go and do that for 15 minutes, and those potatoes will be done. Dry off the beef. Once it comes out of the sous vide, save that au jus, because we're going to go ahead and make our sauce with a little heavy cream after drying everything off so we get that nice crust on the outside. You only need to go about a minute. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and slice it up plate it up, put on our sweet potato fries, and you're gonna have an absolutely incredible meal. I always like to displace things nicely. We we'll finish off with that incredible gravy that I made, and then I'm putting a little Lepo pepper on for the finishing hit, a little bit of spice, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Oh. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe because that's how YouTube pushes me out so everybody else can enjoy these videos. Until next time, this is Assimilation State, and I'm your governor. Smoke on, baby.